overflows. Samadhi, Osho and Brij Mohanlal. Master consecrates his disciples. Yavat Asyanti Giriyah Saritarsh Mahitale Tavat Rama Yarkatha Lokeshu Pracharishyati As long as the mountains and rivers will remain, the life of awakening Ram and awakened ones shall inspire and kindle up this spark of divinity in each one of us. The day an enlightened one or awakened one leaves the physical body and enters the formless existence, the responsibility of those who are close to him becomes greater. Now these chosen ones have to manifest the awakened one through their presence and in a way to become him. As a result, the leaving the body, the awakened one can create a challenge for one close to him. Through Samadhi, he is leaving the form or leaving one body. Now he can exist in all the bodies. A Buddha, a Raman, a Ramakrishna, a Osho, a Lalaji, a Bridge Mohanlal, and all other enlightened ones from the past, the present, and those who will follow feel absolutely certain, utterly happy that he has got the right people who are going to be the living books of consciousness, eternal temples of awakening, totally consecrated. It all depends on you now because you are the one who is going to spread such message all over the world. What is the difference between consecration and Pran Pratishtha? Pran means life force. Pratishtha means the reestablishment. When in a fertile soil, you plant a seed, the soil becomes, soil is transformed and becomes food grains. This we know as agriculture. When the food you eat, it assimilates in the body, it becomes flesh and blood. It is known as digestion and assimilation. So too, when in the fertile soil of a seeker, the seed of awakening is sowed, then this process is known as consecration. Each master prepares the human being, his disciples, for consecration. Human element is the most and easily most suitable element and easiest for this process of transformation. But there is a problem. Man has a mind also. So today you are leaning this side. Tomorrow you may take a U-turn. So this is the problem. And to say that why this thing is being in such a grand manner or anything. If you love someone, are you satiated that you have given to your, given out of your love? Love is never finished. It is a continuing process. The more you give, the more you feel that it is not yet enough. So the process of transformation our consecration is from lower to higher consciousness. And the truth starts lurking from behind you. So the 
सनातन संस्कृति इज एब्सल्यूट इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन द लोअर इवॉल्व इन टू द हायर एंड रिलीजन इज ऑन द अदर हैंड एन अथॉरिटेटिव बिलीफ सिस्टम ट्रूथ कैन नॉट बी एथॉरिटेटिव ट्रूथ कैन नॉट बी एथॉरिटेटिव यू वॉन्ट टू नो अ मास्टर इज नॉट डिवोटेड टू एनी डीटी और एनी वन इंस्टेड ही इज डिवोटेड टू यू बिकॉज यू हैव द ट्रिमेंडस पोटेंशियलिटी ऑफ बींग कॉन्सिक्रेटेड द लाइफ फोर्स बींग कॉन्सिक्रेटेड इन यू सो ही इज अ डिवोटी ऑफ पीपल सीकरस लाइक यू एनी वन विद great potential for devotion the master is the devotee of that person because this person can be evolved from a lower consciousness to the higher this is the work of the masters and in fact on behalf of the awakened one i can say to you that i am loved with any one deep love with anyone who has the potentiality the capability to transform from lower to the higher this is the process of evolution and one who is in front of me you i am in love with you beyond any doubt with love when it begins to overflow its energy reaches you it begins the process of transformation this process of love energy flowing towards you and evolution from lower to the higher a process of transformation is known as consecration or enlightenment once this has begun then it becomes the way of your life there was one great mathematician ramanujam he for the first time spoke of black holes before that nobody knew anything about black hole and he did not have a concept in science there is a concept first then it comes like a hypothesis and then you work on that he simply through his mathematical calculations spoke about the black hole when he was asked how did he know he said devi the deity in me is the window so master is the window through which you look into the unknown existence and explore the mysteries of the unknown so master becomes a window through which you look into the entire existence such is the life of each master as i said in particular on 19th of january 1990 osho entered into samadhi there were circumstances that are well known on 17th of january 1955 bridge mohan lal entered into samadhi and on 20th of january his mortal body was cremated and the shrine was and it was enshrined ramanujam says my devi is my window through which i look into infinite existence to discover the mysteries of the existence so is a disciple a seeker he looks for him the master the awakened one becomes a window through which and it becomes a vehicle and through that vehicle you can ride at god's speed 
when you are walking on the road you take a longer time to reach when you take a faster vehicle a vehicle on the road you can reach faster but vehicle has to go through the the busy streets the traffic and if you take a sky train you will reach faster so master is like a sky train riding him so he becomes like a vehicle for you he uses his allows you to use his physical emotional mental and spiritual energies to work as vehicle for you to continue your journey and reach the ultimate and this is the consecration to be in the presence of a master means to imbibe him to drink with him to flow within his energy field and this sows the seed it provides the continuous nourishment to the person and prana pratishta on the other hand is slightly different because an individual's life is short maybe 100 years but after 100 years he dissolves and his shrine becomes the the source of inspiration to anyone who comes to that place for prana pratishtha we need a material that once through your the consecration can happen two ways the prana pratishtha can happen two ways through your own efforts the mantras and other rituals the other is someone uses his energy to infuse the life force in you so in a way master uses his energy field to infuse the life force into you to kindle that spark in you so for that a certain material is used the rocks are used because when these are the life force is infused into it prana pratishtha is established they you do not need to maintain or do anything afterwards except normal worships and so just as when you are along the path you have to continuously strive to maintain that is that status that energy field so in that case we use these stones the mercury is the best material but it is fragile so stones are used they stand on their own form a huge heavy rocks are used to establish the sculptures so all these sculptures are carved out, out of stone so that they can last not only 100 years 50 years instead they can last for 5000 plus years that is the number that you can say eternal life is eternal but it is always in comparison the two you have a life of 100 years and in comparison to that if something lasts for thousand years it is eternal but it is an infinite number so then the pran pratishtha is established in a sculpture then it can last up to five thousand years so each master consecrates his the energy field in his disciple and makes him ready to continue the work Yavatthasyanti giriyah saritash mahitale Tavat ramayana katha lokeshu pracharishyati